Hey there everyone, so this is the third part of this video series where we are building a service uh, request management uh, system uh, for IT and uh, what we'll be uh, doing in this is uh, we also, I just uh, remembered that we also need to add uh, ID and uh, the priority of the ticket so for this uh, we'll add two more fields to this uh, table so we, we need to add two more fields two columns and this will be uh, ID and the priority so uh, we'll just modify the above code uh, to accommodate this two changes uh, before we can proceed further so this will be priority this will be high this will be medium And we'll add our ID so there will be another input text and this will be ID name will be ID is ID and this is the priority so we will also add two more fields over here and this will be ID this will be priority this will be ID and this will be priority and now let's see whether that works fine so that we can proceed further so let's say we have incident of this is and let's say we will just have a priority of medium and we will submit there is success so let's refresh the page and it's not there so I just forgot we need to add the backend code also so here we need to add ID and priority so this will be ID this will be priority ID priority now 
let's check this once again. Let's see whether the data has been stored in the database and uh, yeah this uh, is working fine. So now what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be creating a navigation bar, uh, navigation menu uh, so that uh, at least we can navigate to different sections of this application so I was thinking of key changing the color of this background also to little bit of blue color for the background see if I can give some other color uh, little lighter one and I'll give a little bit of uh, are over here so that there is some space at the bottom now I'll have the navigation over here navigation menu so let's go to get bootstrap and I will just uh, use the default uh, navigation bar for now we can obviously customize and uh, to our feel uh, we can give it at the side or something but for now uh, we let us focus just on the application and uh, later we can enhance this so I will just uh, go over here copy this navigation bar or uh, let's say this blue one so I will just come here I will go to the within the container let me just paste this let's first see how that looks we have the navigation bar but uh, I will give that a, uh, primary This one is the class for this primary. So let's just see. So yeah, that works uh, fine. Now we'll give the name it service desk and uh, we'll also give font awesome we'll uh, I think font awesome now uh, asks for login or something so let me see maybe we will add that later because uh, that will ask for login credentials and all those things mm, so let's just give like this for now
now uh, let's change this button also to primary let's give this outline yeah, so this is the basic uh, look uh, and feel for now uh, we might change this as we go further so uh, this will give some navigation over here so let's go up over there and uh, we'll change this to user uh, new story all or let's say dash board which will have all these stories uh, this will be for now let's just keep this two we'll later on give more add-ons so this is the new story this is the dashboard but there is nothing so we'll create a dashboard now so so this is the dashboard and we'll just uh, provide a link uh, over here dashboard.php this will be index.php for now and uh, let's just mm, copy this entire code in dashboard and remove the extra things uh, Let's just uh, remove everything from here. And let's see how does that look. So this is the dashboard. And this is a blank space. So we'll give the div. Class card and for now just to check we'll give a height of let's say 300 pixels just to check uh, how that looks so this is it now what we'll be uh, displaying over here is uh, we'll be displaying the results of all the uh, tickets uh, all the uh, stories right so in dashboard we'll first of all we'll just uh, uh, provide a table over here so I'll go over here in bootstrap and we'll have the table and we'll get a table which is can just uh, choose any table so yeah, so this one I will just uh, copy this table I'll paste it here and how many columns do we have let me see uh, we have one two three four five six seven so seven columns so we have to create these columns uh, this is ID this is title this is description This is assignee. This is owner. Priority. 
empty. And the status. For now we'll hard code but uh, later on we'll bring this from the database so let's just save and let's see how does that look so our dashboard is uh, ready we have the all the stories which are available now what we'll be doing is we'll go to the back end and we'll write a function display story and we'll have global con so that we can use this within the function now query mysql ly okay so first of all I'll write the query so select all from our story TV and result equals my SQL I query con query will have while row equals my sql i fetch array result we'll store that let's say for now we'll store the id So basically this is just for testing and we'll just uh, display the story over here. So we'll for now we'll just uh, display it at this place. Uh, let's say mm. and we'll go to the top we'll include that php over here and let's see whether unexpected this line 2 function I don't remember whether we this will be within quotes or let me just see I think that will be within quotes and we are getting the value so now uh, this is working so I'll just uh, for now I'll just uh, keep it here let it be over here and uh, what I'll be doing is I'll just uh, copy this seven times I'll change this title title description description this will be
id title description assignee this will be owner this will be priority and this will be status and what will be echoing is we'll just take this entire thing cut it from here and we'll paste it over here and we'll have this id so basically i'll just uh, remove this and uh, this will be title description assignee priority so I need to maintain the order actually so let me just go back and see ID title description assignee ID title description assignee then is owner then priority then status so we have to give one more over here owner priority and then status and we'll come here we'll just cut this from here this one was for testing purpose we we'll just paste it over here and there you go we have this uh, our database over here right so we have displayed all the tickets uh, all the stories which are opened over here so let's just uh, clear this for now and uh, just uh, we'll clear this uh, this is blank now we'll go there and create a new story let us give an incident number and let us give let's say zero 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 we'll give uh, description let's say please check the connectivity and confirm back SL. so this is just uh, we'll assign this to let's say Uday uh, this will be team our owner uh, I think this is the owner and whatever this is low priority let's say for now we are creating so we'll just open it we can change that to in progress or something so now we create and success so now if we go to our dashboard there is one ticket which is open state now this is the second part of this series uh, sorry third part of this series hope you are enjoying these videos thanks for watching